Hey everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. Uh, we have a small little Trader Joe's haul today. Uh, I had lunch with one of my Sensi consultant friends who we haven't seen each other like in six months because we all know why. And so uh, she wanted to go to Trader Joe's because she knows I love Trader Joe's. She's only been there I think once and didn't know what to get. She said, let's go and I said, oh yeah, sure. I can go to Trader Joe's any day of the week. Um, but it is against the law to go into Trader Joe's without making a purchase, so. I made the sacrifice. Okay, so this is what we got. Uh, today I got a Caesar salad. Uh, it comes with the dressing and everything. I love Caesar salad. And I've not had this Caesar salad and it's going to go with a barbecue chicken pizza. I'm having a friend over for dinner tomorrow and I don't really feel like cooking. So we're going to have pizza and salad. And uh, then I saw Trader Joe's list. Her name is, I keep forgetting, Natasha. She liked this so much, she went back and got more. Now, I'm not a huge smoked salmon fan, but I do like raw tuna more than I like raw salmon. So I think I'm going to like this, um, and I will let you know my thoughts on that. Uh, then I'm hearing a lot about the unexpected cheddar, so I thought it was time to try that. And it also comes in shredded form now, and that was new, I think, last week or the week before. That was something new. So I definitely want to try that unexpected cheddar. Um, and also, I think it was... I think it was Natasha. Maybe it was... Uh, was Katie Hespy, somebody out there in Trader Joe's land really talked about the A&H kosher hot dogs. And they said it was seasonal, so I did pick up a package. Now, I have an air fryer, and I've had it about a month, and I'm loving it. I like air frying veggies, fish, Brussels sprouts, sweet potato fries. Um, and one thing I've, I put in the air fryer last week for an experiment was a hot dog. And let me tell you, air fried hot dogs are just like being on the grill. They have that kind of like crispy outside, if you know what I mean. And they're really good. So these guys will be going in the air fryer. If you have not tried an air fried hot dog, you should, you'll love it. Okay, I wanted some cucumbers and I got some Persian cucumbers. Now the packaging in this is really pathetic. The um, saran wrap business is barely hanging on. So I will have to repackage those. And what I got to go with those, um, a lot of people are talking about the spicy cashew butter dressing. And I love cashew, I love spicy. Um, and um, I can't even read that for crying out loud. Um, cashew butter, um, ginger, cilantro. See, it's really, it's all like blending in with the label. Let me find my readers, hang on. Ah. Perils of old age. Okay. Cashew butter, lime juice, ginger, cilantro, red chili peppers. So that is going to be really good at, for a salad dressing or just to dip veggies in, which is mainly why I got the cucumbers to go with that. Uh, I got some carrots. I can also use those with the cashew butter uh, dressing, or these will go also in the air fryer to fry with some fish. Um, so yeah, so carrots, um, Brussels sprouts, fingerling potatoes, the little potatoes, toss them in olive oil and whatever herbs and spices and seasonings you like. Put those in the air fryer. The outside turns out crispy, crispy, and the inside of those little potatoes are creamy, buttery. So good, so, so good. If you don't have an air fryer, hurry up and get one. Love it. And for me, um, like maybe, <coughs> pardon me, two years ago or so when air fryers became all the rage, I did buy one. It was a big one. It was like over six quarts. It was a big mama jama. And I never used it because it was so big to haul in and out and it was just too big for me. Even if I had a person for dinner, it was still too big. So now I have a small 3.5 quart air fryer. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll, link, I'll leave the link for that down below if anybody's interested. If you're one or two people, it's the perfect size and I love it. I use it all the time, several times a week. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, something new that I've been seeing lots and lots of people haul is the Quecho y Pepe ravioli. And they also have, I've seen people haul in the frozen food section, some frozen Quecho y Pepe. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have anything to drink. 
Now, uh, product of Italy. So I was in Italy two years ago. One of the thing, the, the dish that I had maybe two or three times when I was there for 10 days was Quecho y Pepe. And when I came back, I tried to recreate it and I didn't do a horrible job. I even have a cook along um, on my channel making Quecho y Pepe. I think that's probably the first cook along I did. Not good. They're still not good, but they're fun. Anyway, so I definitely wanted to try this uh, pasta because I love Quecho y Pepe. Okay. I save these Trader Joe's bags. They are strong, heavy-duty bags. They have handles. I love them. I use them for whatever I can. Okay, in the next bag, this is a repurchase. I haven't gotten them in a while, uh, the Everything Bagels. I love these bagels. They're so good. Um, and something new to me is the Mango and Ginger Crisps. Now, I have had the uh, Fig and Rosemary, <coughs> and there's a Raisin and something. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> uh, is this from Trader Joe's? No, it's H-U-B. -E. Sparkling grapefruit water. It's good in gin. Okay, anyway, so uh, the mango and ginger crisp. So I was excited to try those because I do like the other ones. I, I can have that with the... Um, Unexpected cheddar, and plus I also have a couple other Trader Joe's ones in there. One is like a blueberry something or other. I don't know. This is a repurchase now for the third time. The dark chocolate and to roasted pistachio toffee. It's good. It's really good. And I said last time that toffee is good. Some toffee, you feel like you're going to break a tooth. You can't even bite it. This is not the case. It's good. Uh, also for snacking, one of my new favorite snacks is the peanut butter filled pretzels. I had a backup bag. <coughs> it's going to tickle. There's a little couple left in that little bag right there. And then my backup bag, I took it to work the other night when I got called in on disaster call, which there was no disaster. But I took my pretzels with me and we shared. Now, this is new to me. Oh, I don't worry about the bag. Uh, last year when these came out, apparently they fly off the shelves because I went to get some. They were all gone. These are new this season, the apple cider donuts. And people rave, 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 rave about Trader Joe's apple cider donuts. So I'm very excited to have a cup of coffee and a donut for that. And then what would a Trader Joe's run be without some wine? So today is National Red Wine Day. So I did purchase another Susuminello. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Um, and this is really, really good. It's a dry red, but it's very um, smooth. It's well blended. Uh, it's a little bit, I don't want to say, no, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say, it's smooth. It's smooth. Now this, um, I didn't know anything about this varietal, uh, Susum in Yellow, until I saw uh, Katie, Huspy, Katie Huspy Hollett on her channel. And so I looked a little bit into it. It's from the south region of uh, Italy, from Puglia. And anyway, it's really good. Now, for me, Trader Joe's has wine anywhere from their three buck chucks, $2.99, all the way up to $30, $40 wine, and everything in between. For me, I find really good wine around the five to $6 range. Plenty, 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 plenty of options in that range. So many. Uh, this is $10, which is pricey for me, but really not in the scheme of things, it's not. And it's a good wine, so it's it's well worth the $10. Um, and then a couple more. Um, my wine stack is low. This, oh, this is a repurchase. I, I was gonna, I'm, I'm trying to buy new things, but I know that I like this. Uh, Pinot Grigio uh, from uh, Grigio Luna, or Villa Borghetti, I guess. Um, and it is a Pinot Grigio, as, as I just said. And this is, um, where's my list? I wanted to tell you the prices of the wine because they're so affordable and they really are good. Uh, this was $5.99. The Susum in Yellow is $9.99. Um, this is new to me, Trader Joe's uh, brand Petite Reserve Petite Syrah. And uh, that is going to be good. So this is, how much was this one? Let me find it. Um, this was $7.99. Still pretty damn good for a bottle of wine. 
And this one is a repurchase, the rosé with the goat on the front, La Femme Julienne. And this is uh, $5.99. So yeah, four bought, two reds, a white, and a rosé. So that's it, I'm set for another little while. Um, I really did not need anything, but again, you just can't go to Trader Joe's and not buy something. And you know, I, whatever. I'm not gonna make excuses. I love Trader Joe's. So check out your Trader Joe's. I was gonna leave a link down below for something. Oh, my video to the Ketchup Al Pepe. No judgment, please. It was just fun. It's fun stuff. It's not serious. It's fun. Um, but that's it. Let me know again. I've added some new things to my favorites list or for my shopping list, but I was with a friend, so I couldn't really spend a lot of time going up and down the aisles looking for new things. Like somebody told me about the risotto I needed to try and the eggplant dip that's on my list. So if you have something that's your favorite, please let me know. I'd love to try it. All right. Okay. That's it. Have a great weekend. It's Friday. All right. See you soon. Bye.